Hello everyone, this is Excalibur, and I am back on the Feed the Beast world. Um, I thought I would go and show you how I'm doing with my mining. Um, I just started, and the hammer is just so cool. Since I put Silk Touch on it, I can get all these wonderful ores directly and not have to worry about... Um, a lot of stuff going wrong here. Let's here. Let's get that. And this, of course, is all happening right ab above my old mine shaft. I need to be careful. <laughs> I don't want to have any issues with mobs um, f spawning because I have mined away. Um, a torch or two so we're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen so this is what I've gotten so far I've already gotten a full stack and some out of stone um, and I'm getting Sirtis quartz directly which is excellent and doing in a 3x3 three three, we're getting stuff like this here normally when you mine redstone you have issues with uh, uh, the redstone taking up space in your inventory all the time. Uh, no more. Ooh. Go ahead and grab that emerald. But you also have issues with super huge tunnels like this forming. And I'm sort of not happy about a three by three, but we'll have to make do, won't we? Do do do. I'm actually taking a break from work today. <laughs> well, right now, not today, so that I can do some mining and get some resources like lapis. Oh my God, lapis sucks up your inventory space like there's no tomorrow. A lot like redstone, but no more. With silk touch, I'll do it right there. With Silk Touch, everything is happy. And then I just follow it back with Cobblestone, and soon I'll be following it with Smooth Stone, because I'll be getting so much Smooth Stone, it will be ridiculous. There we go. We're going to go until we see one more red X, which will be this next bit here. Throw up a torch. I'm going to try and conserve them a little bit. Alright. Look at that. Oh, and I made a, a cactus shovel with a stone head. <laughs> well, it's a stone um, tool rod. And look at how well that does so let's let's go ahead and do this here and actually we need to put a torch right there um, before I would do tunnels like this with turtles only they'd be too high and you couldn't control much of anything with it you just have to follow the turtle along and get whatever resources were left behind let's go and see if there's any more iron out good we just go like this but the good thing is we find things like coal make it easy on us by doing that and then hammering away So I won't say this this revolutionizes mining. It doesn't, not in the least. <laughs> Look at all that swag we get. Wowzers. Now I did um, use 
Alright, let's go ahead and get this pack back in. I'm a little weird about this. And there we go. Now we can start using the smooth stone again. Now I'm a little weird about this. This is too wide. We'll go ahead and ignore putting anything back over here. far already and we are nearly full of inventory that is just bonkers I brought a turtle along just in case we need to do some other type of mining and we have coal to take care of anything else and look at that we're gonna get it won't do the uranium ore Wow. Branch mining with this is going to be awesome. And our tunnels are going to look perfect and beauteous. I'm really glad I put the silk touch on this thing. Now let's see here. Can this get that ferrous metal? Yes, it can. All right. Go ahead and dig there. All right. Now be careful about digging while you're within the 3x3. Three three. Because bad things can happen. So we'll dig right there, and we find a cave system. There we go, and I'll just go ahead and use the pick here. I should actually use the fortune pick. Do some precision. We don't have room for a cobble. <laughs> that is hilarious. So let's go ahead and dump off some of this stuff. Right up here, we've got all this coal. I'll put all the ores up there. We'll keep the stone on us. There we go. Hit R. And we're going to keep any coal that we find on us as well. So, yeah, this might turn out to be a mining episode where you see my. I really don't have OCD. I am just kind of weird that I want to put stone back where I mine off of uh, the main route, the main tunnels. I use a lot of torches. These tunnels are a lot larger than what I use what I'm used to making. So that okay, that didn't bite me in the butt. This might. Luckily 
luckily it did not. We broke through into a cave there. I don't like doing that. And my other caves are one by one. And these are three by three. And we've got zombies coming up. Oh, and that's what we're looking for. Let's see. Throw up a torch. got a, a huge vein of diamond there we go let's fill this all back in yeah it's like I've never been here got all that lapis and what we're gonna do is use it to make our lucky pick luckier let's see how bad this turns out oh great I don't even whoa been in here most definitely nope I can't do anything with that great oh that's sulfur Take it easy. Definitely in a ravine. Make sure we don't lose any of that stuff.
normally be a boon, but I am not one who likes dungeons and junk like that. this little section off. Let's see what we can do about Alright, I don't think our hammer will to obsidian. So we're going to have to bring out our Thalmium pickaxe. This is intense. There we go, that's where that needs to go. Let's throw down our bucket of water really quick. Go ahead and set it there. We need to take out that piece of obsidian. And we need to take out these right here. In addition to that, I brought a bunch of buckets to do this with, and before we continue, I want to plug up this hole here, and uh, there we go. Let's make sure that iron's up in there. We've got a lot of redstone now. More service ports. That's eight buckets. And they have room for two up in there. two more and then use our portal gun give us a way home there we 
you go. And that's how you mine and feed the beast. <laughs> you run around like a chicken with your head cut off, and you pray that you can get out of there.